Well, it's a classic car show time, and in this episode, it's this show from Seaburn. One of my favourite cars, and I'm sure you know, is the MGB. This is the same colour as my car. Only difference, this is a rubber bumper car. And again, this is an absolutely wonderful car in wonderful condition. And the owner should be proud. However, here we have uh, for sale. I think it's a good price. This is 2021. Again, another car on my list that I would like to own. A lovely colour Mini um, M, which is something like, I believe, 1994, 95. Absolutely wonderful interior. Leather interior, but absolutely excellent condition. Uh, and that's a car I would love to have. And again, the Alpine, again, another topless car, great. Here we have a Capri, absolutely wonderful. And again, another car that I would love to own is the XKR, or XK8R, I should say. But this is the R version. Um, again, I think we would all say this is the, it's a flying machine. Talking about flying machines, there's the Sierra Cosworth. And a Rover, absolutely wonderful car, in wonderful condition, and it's a credit uh, to its owner, absolutely amazing. And again, flying machine, here we have a Renault 5, I'm sure it's some sort of turbo version. And talking about turbos, he's an RS Turbo, absolutely immaculate. It's just amazing how the owners keep their cars clean. Another dream car, I would love to own an MGB uh, Roadster. What a wonderful colour. Uh, and again, this is another car on my list. I've, you know, I do have the GT, but I would like to own the Roadster version. Again, immaculate, very, very clean. And the owner should be congratulated. Just, just a wonderful car. Three-wheeler. I had the pleasure of meeting the owner, absolutely wonderful guy, and was so happy to talk about his car and also to show his car. And uh, it's a small world because I know his parents and I work with his mother. Um, so a big shout out and hello, and I'm sure that you will give me a Facebook uh, friends request. But a wonderful car and it's got its place in the classic car world. Another car, I passed my test in this red Fiesta, not that Fiesta, but a red Fiesta uh, in 1986. Again, we just had there a Morris Minor, and here we have an Austin. What a lovely looking car. This show, I always look forward to this show, either at Ryan Pumping Station or on the Seaburn um, Park. Again, lovely car. Uh, just, I don't know how people keep them in this condition. Uh, I'm sure this car is not being used to, to look like that. Just immaculate and just wonderful. And another wonderful car, which I would like to own, is the Morris Minor Traveller. <laughs> Again, just immaculate. But look at the registration. It's an L Reg, which is 1972 to 1973. So. Either it's been registered late or it's been constructed um, at a later date because I believe it was 1971. Here we have a Morris Van den Pla or Van den Plas, I don't know how you pronounce it. And you can just see me with my gimbal in the window, very plush. And again, surprise, surprise, another car that I would like to own, the Morris Minor again. I, I was told by the owner that this, this is a unrestored car and what you see it's just it's a survivor's car and I think it's got I think about 66,000 miles which is absolutely brilliant for the age of the car. Kia Reg again late um, I think it's again it's one of those to be registered late here we have an MG Magnet again badge engineering what do I say? Absolutely amazing uh, condition. 
just polished. Here we have another car, uh, an Austin again, absolutely wonderful. Um, and they don't look camped in there. Again, lots and lots of history. Here we have the bug. You can see on the left there, the Austin again. And then an Escort uh, Estate. And then a Sierra. Again, that's another one I would like to own. A Sierra XR4 I. I, sh I shouldn't forget the I. XR4 I. And I do prefer the early version of the XR4 rather than the later versions. And I believe the later versions, the Mark II, um, I think they shrank to a two litre double, double overhead cam. You can just see on the left there, there is a Cortina, Ford Cortina GXL. Very, very rare in two door form. Very rare. Um, and here again, we can see just a repeat of the Vanden Flaar, another, the Morris Minor, which uh, I didn't catch the first time round. Uh, and I'm sure some people do circle the ground round and round so some of the cars you might see are a repeat as you can see here the front of the MG magnet here we have another Austin and you can see the resemblance Okay, we've seen the magnet, and this is a, I would say, a sister, a brother, a predecessor, um, a development. It's on a G-Reg, so we're talking, what, 1969, 1970. Again, wonderful condition, and I believe that's the A-Series engine. Correct me if I'm wrong. My brother had an XR2 in the same colour, black. His car was on an F-Reg. Again, immaculate. Here we have the Fiesta 1800, I believe, which is very, very rare. Because normally, and I could be wrong, um, that was that was the XR2i. So this is an 1800, and I believe that's rare. Another car which is more rare is the Escort RS 1600i. That is really rare compared to the XR3i and the RS Turbo. Just panning round, there's an Escort Cabriolet. Mark 7, I believe, Escort. Lotus Cortina. And you can see there, the Ford XR3i with the lattice wheels. Again, all from my past. So it's nice to see those type of cars. Again, absolutely immaculate. Here we have an Escort Mark 1. I believe it, I'm sure it's an RS2000. Again, we have a XR3 and RS Turbo Cabriolet. And then we have a trio of XR2. I've got a funny story of buying an XR2 in white for 30 pounds on a night out many many years ago it must be at least 25 years ago I bought it for 30 pounds and sold it a week later and doubled my money one of my favorite dashboards and also I just want you to draw your attention to the design it's a 1976 1977 again two absolutely immaculate escorts talking to their owners who are lovely guys just a credit, just wonderful. Those guys have owned the escorts for over 25 years. close-ups of the, the spotlights in front of the car one of my favorite cars the Capri that's a two-litre laser and an absolutely immaculate Ford Scorpio uh, estate it might be a Granada but I'm sure it's a Scorpio at the top of the range but absolutely immaculate and the owner should be congratulated 
here we have a Morris Minor van. Again, I'm some, sure some people will correct me on the title. Here we have the Austin 1800. Again, just wonderful how you know, these cars have survived. Here we have a Fiesta gear with XR2 wheels on. Another Escort Cabriolet with Ford alloys, which are, they must be at least 15 to 16 inch rims. But again, just immaculate. Ford Orion 1600 gear injection. Let's not forget the injection in, in the 80s was absolutely amazing. This car here has got the RS7 spoke alloys from the 2.8. It's also got the 2.8 half leather interior. As I said before, this S of Escort Scorpio Ford, absolutely brilliant, huge car absolutely huge in size and just wonderful another of my favorite cars I'm sure you will agree is the MGB just lovely and clean it's just nice to see those cars again it's a Roadster and this is a car I would love to own a Roadster I've got the GT version um, just wonderful Another MGB, this time it's a GT, just immaculate with the correct grill on. Just a lovely colour. Kept in lovely condition. Two minis, one is a pickup. Again, lovely just two lovely cars and thank you for watching